Howdy folks and welcome to Brain Riders. Injustice has finally premiered its animated movie. So we are going to be talking about all the Injustice game references, the comic storyline references as well, and all the Easter eggs. So stay with me on this one. Batman knowing that Lois is pregnant is pulled straight from the same scene in the comic books, but in a different setting. When Flash goes into the subway station, a sign can be seen read as Burn Avenue in reference to the DC Comics writer John Byrne, who mostly wrote Man of Steel comics. Scarecrow's death was caused by the Joker in this film. The same can be said of the comic book as well. In this really quick shot, you can see the LexCorp building in Metropolis. Despite Lex Luthor not being in this animated film, but having a huge role in the Injustice game and comic. It's different from the way that Joker and Harley drug Superman, but in the comic and animated film, Harley is wearing a white hat to resemble a nurse's hat in a nurse's outfit. The nuclear device going off only when Lois dies is the same consistent plot detail that they had in the original story. I'll give the movie some credit because most scenes are pulled from the comics, like this scene between Green Lantern and Superman over the farm. It's the same interaction that the pair have in the comic. Hard to ignore the obvious iconic shot of when Superman killed the Joker in Injustice. It's the same shot. Green Arrow and Harley Quinn share the same kind of association that they have in the Injustice comic, and it's something we didn't get to see in the game. Harley even makes fun of the Arrow cave like she did in the comic. When Superman calls for a worldwide cease fire he does so in the UN but in the comic he did it outside Metropolis I believe you can see Huntress behind Batman here later it's noted in the comic that Wonder Woman actually kills her with her golden lasso in the injustice story something we don't see in the film mirror master is in the film wearing his usual orange but in the injustice comic it's different in a bluish green that he wears they likely changed his look in the injustice story in this film to look more like his usual self to cater to an audience who doesn't necessarily read the comic book but knows Mirror Master from the animated shows where he wears his usual orange. Mirror Master mocks Superman when Superman threatens him. Mirror Master saying, what, you're gonna put a fist through my chest? Referencing how Superman killed Joker. In the World's End bar, all the cameos are Killer Frost, who guarded the Batcave in the games, the Trickster, who is in the Injustice story, who had a, quite the friendship with Bizarro during the run, hard to miss Captain Boomerang, who actually held his own against Cyborg in the Injustice story, this lady here is Giganta. She in the games was used to fight Atom Smasher. This guy here is named Catman, who was a DLC skin for Batman and Gods Among Us. In this shot here, you got Captain Cold, who had a huge role, or, you know, a relatively larger role in Injustice 2. This lady could be Yura Sinril, who wasn't a part of the Injustice story, but is a Jon Stewart villain. Not sure who this guy is, though. You got Reverse Flash, who is wearing his Injustice 2 costume. Cheetah's in this. You'll remember her serving under Rod in Injustice 2. You got the turtle as the bartender who wasn't in the Injustice story but is a Flash villain. Not sure who this guy is or these two, so help me with these ones in the comments. You can see Man Bat behind Wonder Woman here who was killed by Grodd in Injustice 2. In the Bat Cave, here's where all the Robin costumes come from. The first one, you know, being the classic one. The next being Tim Drake's Robin costume. Then you can see Batman's classic blue and black costumes from when he first started. Hey, you made this far. You might as well subscribe if you're new as well as hitting that bell for notifications so you don't miss another video just like this one. The villain that Robin points out that nobody knows, that's actually Calendar Man. He's a Batman rogue. There's a movie mistake here when Harley has all of the active feed security cameras in front of her. You can see that one on Nightwing and Batman has Victor Zaz still behind them when only a minute ago he was transported so that cell should be empty. Nightwing dies the same way he does in the comic book with the bar to the temple. Now there was some rewrites but we know from the games that Catwoman is actually on Team Superman out of fear with Nightwing becoming Deadwing that makes Nightwing Deadman from the DC Universe who has all the same powers and you know relatively acts the same way and even shares the similar Redbird brand across his chest that Damian Wayne has in Injustice. With the addition of the atom inside of Superman's brain the atom in the original story was only put there after the regime fell you know to keep Superman at bay in the same way. Oliver Queen is killed by Superman in the Fortress of Solitude in the comic, just like the animated movie, both instances involving the Kens, except Green Arrow is beaten to death instead of lasered in the comics. In this movie, Amazo kills Hawkman, but the storyline in the comics shows Superman killing Hawkman after he tries to kill Superman with a kryptonite mace. After a skirmish with the Justice League, Amazo adapts his Injustice comic outfit. Earth-9 Superman in the film dons the same suit from his Earth-9 comic counterpart 
Heart Shocker there. Earth-9 Superman says the Injustice universe is Earth-22, when in fact in the comics, Earth-22 is home to the Kingdom Come Superman instead. Superman does the same move that he uses in Injustice 2 whenever you activate his super move. Lastly, Batman tells Superman that Mr. Terrific and him will be building a Red Sun prison for Superman to live the rest of his days in, which is exactly true of the games and comics. Thank you all so much for watching. What did you think of the Injustice film? What did you miss? What did I miss? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are new here, please subscribe. We are a growing channel and we could use all the help we can get. Thank you. Take care.